this is Heather Hoffman and I'm here today with a color blocked design card using the July 2021 Kit of the Month from Unity Stamp Company and a couple different colors of cardstock. I'm going to use that fun little sunburst image and I kind of liked the play on the light and the dark on both sides of it. That's kind of what inspired this card. So I picked um, two different sizes of circle dies. I kind of played with different ones to pick what I liked. And I'm gonna go ahead and stack them on my card together. I'm gonna center the larger one on there first, hold it in place with a little bit of tape, and then do the same thing for the center. Now, one thing I'm gonna do to make sure that these perfectly line up is I'm gonna go ahead and do both these pieces of cardstock at the same time. It's not gonna do a perfect job of cutting through, but I'll show you um, what I do afterwards. So I taped them together, ran them through my die cut machine. Now I can pull off that top one that is all die cut. And then you'll see the bottom one, while not die cut through, it has scored that image. Um, you could probably use a shim and cut them through at the same time, but I wanted to make sure my cut lines were still nice and crisp. So I can still slide my dies back into place there, um, just into the grooves that were created by kind of that embossed layer. And that way I'm gonna have my pieces perfectly die cut to use. Um, interchangeably here. So I'm pulling everything apart, a few little loose threads of paper, and then alternating. I'm going to end up with enough to make two cards. I'm only going to complete the one in the video today. I'll probably save those other pieces for something else down the road. But I'm getting those kind of arranged together. And then I'm using some um, just post-it tape to hold these two pieces together. And already this design is kind of fun and unique already, but I wanted to step it up just a tiny bit more. So I'm gonna hold those in place, pull out my paper trimmer, and trim these exactly equally in half. Um, these are A2 card panels. So since they're four and a half inches wide, I trimmed them to two and a quarter, and that made sure they were identical. And then I realized I wanted to trim it down a little more to have a, um, a mat of white showing around the outside. Ideally, it might have been smarter to do this before I cut them in half, because um, I kind of just added to my work here. but. Um, I didn't think about it in time. So if you're doing it and you want to do the same thing, or you could just start off with slightly smaller panels to start with, um, and that would accomplish the same thing. But nonetheless, um, I went ahead and did it at this point. Now I have four panels all put together, and I'm just going to take one of each, the reverse like you can see there, and I'm going to put them all into place. They're going to fit on my white card base like you can see there just kind of making sure I'm happy with the arrangement. And then I'm also uh, taking some post-it tape to kind of hold everything, um, all the little pieces together, because I've got a lot of separate little things going on there and I wanted to make sure everything is nice and snug and fits together and all my lines are crisp and smooth and lined up exactly where I want them. And then a little more of that post-it tape just to hold everything in place. And then I can turn this over and grab my tape runner and just make sure I put plenty of adhesive there on the back and making sure I have every little bit of it covered. And then I can adhere it like that directly onto my card base, peel all that post-it tape off, and everything's perfectly lined up in that kind of fun color block design. Now I want my stamp image to go over the top and I wanna make sure I have it perfectly lined up. So I'm gonna use the grid of my Misty to make sure I have it uh, perfectly straight up and down, the line and the separation. And then I have a piece of clear plastic. This is actually just a clear stamp sleeve, any piece of acetate, even a clear Ziploc bag if you can see through it well enough. That's going to allow me to make sure when I stamp that in place, see how perfectly that lines up exactly where I want it. So that just gave me the ability to um, get that image. I probably could have stamped it um, at an earlier point and cut it apart, but I really wanted to be certain everything lined up just perfect. Then I grabbed my white gel pen just to add a little interest and detail to the image. I colored in a little bit on both. Um, I noticed over the black VersaFine ink kind of gave more of a sketchy look, but I still liked kind of the effect and the interest it gave to those leaves. I went ahead off camera and stamped a sentiment, and then I've matted it on some black cardstock to help make it pop. And I'm going to go ahead and adhere that down with a little bit of foam adhesive there, just to pop it up off the background and add a little bit more dimension and depth to this. I could adhere it straight down, but most of this card is pretty direct on there. And then Final finishing touch here is a few sparkly white uh, jewels just arranged around the top and bottom around that transition point. All right, this card's finished. Thanks so much for coming by today. Have a wonderful day.